Hello, I'm Claire Barker. I'm a children's author and I'm in my writing hut here uh, with Sammy, my dog here. Here's Sammy. Um, and I am the author of Knit Bone Pepper Ghost Dog. Yes, you know about that, don't you? Knit Bone Pepper Ghost Dog. And I understand it's been picked as part of the summer reading adventure uh, with Usborne. And so that's really exciting. A summer of reading. How marvellous. That really is. Um, you might be thinking, is this the sort of book for me? I don't know. Well, if you like animals, if you like ghosts, if you like um, sparky children, adventure, mystery, uh, if you like, um, oh, the idea of a tumble down house where it's never too early or too late or too anything to have fun and dogs are definitely allowed in, then um, this might be the book for you. And if you enjoy it, there's a series actually. Um, there are four more after this that include circuses and tigers and horses and aeroplanes and magicians rabbits. So there's lots to get your teeth stuck into. Sam, you would certainly agree. Um, so yes, um, I thought I might read you just a little bit of it, of when Nick Bone becomes a ghost, because really it's a story about how he gets used to being a ghost and how life actually is almost better as a ghost. Um, so here we are, but this is when he first finds out he's a ghost and he's having a bit of trouble getting used to the idea of it, okay? Nick Bone Pepper wasn't very good at maths. He was, after all, a dog. But even he had to admit that dead plus still here, equaled ghost. He looked down at his paws. They were a bit see-through now he came to think about it. If he had to describe them, he would say they looked as if they were made out of wispy cotton wool. Standing next to Winnie's dressing table, he noticed that whilst the teddy bear, the piggy bank and the alarm clock were reflected in the mirror, he wasn't. The reality of the situation hit him over the head like a saucepan. Clang! Nipbone's tail drooped and panic began to rise in his chest. No, no, not a ghost. It can't be, this can't be happening. He wailed and howled as loudly as he could. Peppers, look, it's me, Nipbone. But don't worry, Sammy, because it all works out just fine. In fact, it works out almost better. Have a lovely summer. Enjoy all your stories. Remember that stories are like a magic carpet and can take you. Anyway.